What's going on guys, Matty Russell here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to fill up the media beds with river rocks and build a raft for the deep water culture. Let's get stuck into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is make the media guards for the grow beds. Now my grow beds are 25 centimetres deep, and so I'm going to cut my media guards at 30 centimetres deep to ensure that I've got enough to cover the capacity or the depth of the grow bed. In order to make the media guards, you want to take a 90 millimeter section of PVC pipe. This is actually non-pressurized stormwater pipe. And you're also going to need a 90 millimeter end cap for the top of the media guard. I'm going to mark mine out at 30 centimeters with a Sharpie and cut it with the angle grinder. Now that I've got my 30 centimetre section of PVC pipe, it's time to take the drill bit and periodically drill holes throughout this media guard. The holes need to be big enough so that they're not impeding the water flow that's going down the stem pipe into the sump, but also not too big so that they allow media through there and clog up the downpipe. Any media penetrating this defeats the purpose of having a media guard in the first place. In as much as my media is 20 millimetre river rocks, my holes are going to be 11.5 millimeters for the drill bit. All right, so now that we've got our section of media guard all drilled out, it's time to go ahead and remove all of the swarf or loose plastic that has been caused due to the drill. We don't want any of that fine plastic ending up in the system and in the fish's mouth, so it's a good idea to clean it off. In order to do that, I just grab the edge of a pair of scissors and scrape it over the top of the PVC pipe to clean off all the swarf. And in order to remove the leftover bits, I'm actually gonna take the end of the scissor, pop it in the hole and just scrape around to remove any of the final bits of swarf that still remain. Now that the swarf's removed, it's onto the last step of modifying the cap in order to go on top of the media guard. If we don't modify the cap and just pop it straight on, then what tends to happen is when it's in the system and the media is surrounding it and you try and pop off the cap in order to have a look whether or not your standpipe is flowing correctly or whether or not some roots have gotten in there and clogged it all up, the cap gets stuck on there and you can actually pull your whole media guard out of the grow bed and allow all the media to fall down onto and into your standpipe. Certainly something that you don't want to happen. So in order to stop the cap from getting stuck on the end of the PVC pipe, we modify it by cutting a little section out just here in order to allow it to slide on and off with ease. Now that we've got it modified, it just slides on and off with ease. All right, so now that we've got the media guards made and ready for the aquaponics system, it's time to go ahead and wash the 20 millimeter river rocks, which I picked up from the local landscape supplier. This is the media which I've decided to use in the three media grow beds, but we want to make sure we give them a good wash off with the hose before we put them into the system. Now the method I've chosen to use here in order to wash off the river rocks is a bucket with holes drilled in the bottom. Simply fill the bucket up with river rocks and give them a rinse off with the hose to get rid of all of the loose debris and dirt to stop it from clogging up the system or resting in the bottom of the grow beds, the fish tank and the sump. I've got a lot of work ahead of me so let's get into it. Now when it comes to putting the river rocks around the standpipe, you want to take your media guard and place it over the top of your water outlet standpipe. Once we've got it into position, we take the river rocks and fill around the outside in order to secure it into place so that we can fill up the rest of the bed around it.
Well, that's one grow bed done. I'm going to crack on with the rest and I'll come back and give you a look at what it looks like once we're completed. So the media is in the grow pits and now it's time to move on to the floating raft. In order to build the floating raft, I took a piece of corrugated PVC plastic sheet and cut it to the dimensions of the deep water culture. I then took some lengths of pine, which I had laying around and secured them to the bottom by using U-nails to secure it into place. Now that I've got the floating raft all made, it's time to go ahead and drill out some holes with a hole saw on the drill bit for the netting cups that the plants will go into. The floating raft's all made, holes are cut out, and it's time to whack it in the deep water culture. As you can see here guys, I've cut out a section to equate for the pipe going into the deep water culture. And over here we also have an opening so as to not impede the flow going down the standpipe into the sump. These three grow beds here are on constant flood. But in this bed here, we will eventually be adding a bell siphon. I know I said I'd be putting a bell siphon in that grow bed in this video. However, I've decided to give the bell siphon its own video in the future. And there you have it guys. In next week's video, we're gonna clad the entire system with timber because there's nothing worse than having an aquaponic system that looks like it come out of the apocalypse. Thanks again for joining, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one.